Hello again everyone, Tim here from timscomputerfix.net. In this video we're going to be replacing a bad screen on this HP Chromebook. It's a 14-Q010NR is the model. And I will just take you through the steps of replacing the screen on these model Chromebooks. Pretty straightforward these are. If you've never done it before, just follow along here and it should go pretty well for you. Now I would like to make a note here, you do not need to remove the palm rest or the top lid as we do in this video to replace the screen. We do this here simply to gain access to the battery, removing all power sources before working on notebooks, laptops, Chromebooks, what have you, is always a good idea. However, if you choose not to remove the battery power source to replace the screen, you do so at your own risk. Okay, we'll get started here. Very first thing we want to do is remove all screws from the bottom of the Chromebook. There are nine visible screws to remove, and then there are four screws that are under some, some tabs, sticky tabs here we'll show you in a second. So here's where the hidden screws are. We just take us a little razor blade and kind of pry up and take these tabs off. That exposes the screw that's underneath. These, these two particular screws here for the hinge. So we'll go ahead and just remove those. And then here are just two smaller stickers that cover two more screws. And we'll just carefully remove those. So once all our screws are out, we'll go around with a spudger or a plastic tool, whatever you want to use. It won't scratch the case. Carefully pry the palm rest off. It just kind of snaps into place, so pretty straightforward here. We just kind of unsnap the edges on all sides. So here's where we want to be a bit careful. As we lift the top, the palm rest off, there are two ribbon cables here that are going to be attached to the motherboard, shown here. So we'll just carefully remove these ribbon cables. The touchpad ribbon cable is kind of glued down to the battery, so we'll pull that off and then we'll release the latch holding that ribbon cable into place. There's some tape here that we want to set aside and reuse. We'll flip up the lever and Pull off that ribbon cable and then the other ribbon cable is the ribbon cable to the keyboard so we'll flip that lever up and remove that ribbon cable okay now we'll have easy access to the battery that i was talking about we're going to go ahead and and right at this moment go ahead and disconnect power to the motherboard so we'll just carefully remove this cable and now we have detached all power from the chromebook here's our video cable that we're going to remove. Now we're going to remove the whole top lid here just for easy, just because it's easier to work on, but you don't have to remove the top lid, but we'll show you how it's done here. Here we have the antenna wires go into the wi wireless card. We'll remove those. Another ribbon cable here that runs to the daughter board that houses the USB ports. And then we have another cable here that goes to another port. We'll just detach those from their traces and basically there are two screws that hold the top lid into place here at the hinge area. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side. We'll go ahead and remove those and then our top lid should easily be removed. Okay, now we have to remove the bezel to the top lid. This is how we gain access to the screen itself. So again, we'll use our plastic pry tool here. And basically, we're just going to unsnap the bezel from the top lid. Pretty straightforward. Comes off relatively simple. 
just take your time be careful We've got a camera area here we want to be careful of where your camera is we'll go ahead and work our tool around and carefully unsnap the bezel can get a little tough around this hinge area here, but just take your time with it. It will come undone, like so. And now that exposes our screen. There are four screws, one on each corner, basically, that hold the screen into place, shown here. We just remove those screws, and then we'll be able to flip the screen back. We need to be careful here as we flip the screen back. There is a data cable that is plugged into the screen at the bottom. We'll go ahead and pull the screen back. And there you'll see our ribbon cable that is uh, attached. So we have to carefully detach that. We'll pull the tape back nice and easy. And then we'll detach the cable from the screen. Great. So out with the old, in with the new. Got our new screen here with our protective cover on it. We've already put our data cable back on and got, the, got it taped back up. We'll go ahead and lay it back down into place. Everything in reverse now. We'll put our four screws back in to secure the screen into place. Now here we took extra care to make sure that cable was routed right that goes up to the camera. This kind of fell out of place so pay close attention to that when reassembling. This, this data cable here can come out of its trace. So be sure you pay attention to that when you disassemble it. We'll get that put back in the, into its proper spot. And we can put our bezel back on. Just lay it back in and then we'll go ahead and remove our protective film here because in order to get the bezel on we won't be able to take that off so we'll remove that temporarily and then then we'll just kind of place it back on top of the bezel now we can snap our bezel into place we always try to keep our new screens protected as we're working on the computer snap it all into place nice and firm Again, pretty straightforward. We can just put our top lid back into place now. Put our two hinge screws back. Reroute our antenna cables as they were. Plug them back into the wireless card. Plug, plug back in our other cable here. And then we'll put, plug in our ribbon cable to our daughter board. Get it secured into place. And then we'll work our way up here to the video cable that plugs into the motherboard. And at this point, I would recommend testing to be sure that the screen is operating, and it is, after we've plugged our battery back in, uh, we use a mouse here to shut it down. Since we don't have a touchpad on yet, palm rest starts to go on here. We can reattach our ribbon cables like so. Put those into place. One for the keyboard, one for the touchpad, And then we can lay our palm rest back down into place. And we just kind of snap it all back down. Once that palm rest is snapped down into place, we uh, will flip it over. We'll get all of our screws put back onto the bottom side. And then we will put our little tabs back on. Remember, don't forget about our little sticky tabs we had. Get it back into original shape here. Push them down with the spudger. 
get them all, make sure they're, they're on there good. And that's going to be it. So, hey, I hope this helps somebody out. I'm glad HP made these Chromebooks, you know, easy to replace and to, to work on, replace screens and such. So this job turned out quite well. Hey, please rate and subscribe to my feed. I would really appreciate that. You can find me at timscomputerfix.net. Thanks for watching.